I think for me, concept art and design for film is serving the story at its heart. It's a backdrop for you to enliven a believable world that the characters are moving through. This piece takes place at the beginning of the story, establishing Hester hunting down London in search of Valentine. Being able to take that visual image in your mind and show other people what you're thinking is, yeah, a fascination for me. I've been lucky enough to tackle um, all manner of different subjects. A lot of the different traction towns, traction cities, uh, London obviously being the, the centrepiece. When we came to tackle the design, we looked at a lot of the artwork that was done and we sort of just started cherry picking designers whose sensibility we felt naturally fitted where we wanted to take the film. The very clear front runner was Nick Keller. His understanding of form and light is amazing. He just makes really, really powerful decisions. So this is the 13th floor, which is Valentine's airship. It's supposed to exemplify the height of technology London's been able to devise. What do you reckon? It's great, man. Came together well, eh? Yeah. It's quite a bit of work to get to this point from my drawings. Pretty special just being able to step inside one of your illustrations. It's quite a magical feeling. It's always a consistent brief from, for every project you work on is that coming up with something new that we haven't seen before. So this film is chock full of those. I think the biggest thing that I've gotten out of this is just the people I've worked with. This industry, you know, you, you meet so many people with such a number of different skill sets and expertise. Bringing that all together and adding your little piece to it is pretty special. My name's Nick Keller and I'm a concept artist on Model Engines. <laughs>